Hey everyone, Ben here again with Fit Body Boot Camp. Uh, we're going to be going over the next step to the nutrition and a little bit more depth as to figuring out what your basal metabolic rate is, how to figure out how many calories you should be taking in, and overall just really how to apply this more to figure out the ideal meal plan based around what your goals are. So there's a couple different things of being able to go over. On the last video, just kind of going over a, an overview of what your carbohydrates, protein, and fat are. Now this is going to be able to dial it in, figuring out how to use the Harris-Benedict equation to figure out your basal metabolic rate and a couple different resources to go along and know exactly how many calories you should be taking in in order to lose fat or build muscle depending on what your goals are. Now first, when you signed up for one of the long-term programs, you should have received this blue book here. All right, the Unstoppable Fat Loss Formula. Now, if you go to page six here, you're going to see that there's a web page uh, to go to, and this will go through and basically it'll figure out how many calories should be taken in. It has a nice calculator inputted in there, uh, so that way you can figure out uh, basically your basal metabolic rate, including the activity factor of since you're doing boot camp and how many calories you should be taking in. So this is a nice resource to give you an idea of how many calories you should be consuming. All right, now a second resource is the True Star Health Center, which is the tshealthcenter.com. Again, you should receive this in your welcome email. Uh, this is much more in depth, a little bit more uh, complicated than this. So use either one, which again, this is a great resource. But there's a couple different things. Once you figure out what your basal metabolic rate is, this is where you want to dive in and figure out, all right, how many calories you should be taking in of each macronutrient group. Your macronutrients once again being carbohydrate, protein, or fat. So again, just as an example, I have a couple different options up here. You have 1200 calories a day, which most women for weight loss are probably somewhere about 12 to 1600 calories. Most guys I have up here at 1800, they're probably going to be about 18 to 2500 calories a day for weight loss. Now we have this split up into a few different proportions. As far as for your carbohydrate intake of having a 30% carbohydrate, 35% fat, 35% protein. If you're looking at 1200 calories a day, essentially how you're figuring this out is you just take 0 0.30 and multiply that by 1200. That will give you how many calories are coming from carbohydrates. And again, if you divide that by four, because there's four calories for every one gram of carbohydrate, that will give you 90 grams of carbohydrate per day. Now, what you want to do is apply that principle of eating every two to three hours. And essentially what we have split up here is that you're eating six meals a day and you're consuming all of your carbohydrate and fat within the first four meals. So essentially you're going to be eating every two and a half to three hours depending on what time of the day you get up. For the example here of 1200 calories a day, again, if you're looking at 90 grams of carbohydrate here, that's going to break down to 23 grams of carbohydrate four times per day. Now, if you're looking at fat at 35% of your total caloric intake, you're looking at 47 grams of fat because remember, there's nine grams of fat, or there's nine calories for every one gram of fat. So 47 grams of fat per day, which is 11 and a half grams per meal, again, for the first four meals of the day. Your protein, now this is going to be 35% of your total caloric intake and you're going to be looking at 105 grams per day which with this if you're eating six times per day of protein that's going to be 18 grams per meal. Now a little trick here of what you're wanting to do. Your first four meals of the day again you're having a protein, carb, and fat. The last two meals of the day essentially a protein and a veggie. You're trying to limit your carbohydrate and fat intake so that way for one your body is not using this and storing this as fuel but it's also forcing it to start burning fat as a fuel source while preserving your muscle and hence why you're just taking in protein and some veggies for those last two meals of the day and as far as how this would look is using this as an example for example like 6 a.m. you would have meal one protein carbs and fat meal two 9 30 a.m. meal three is noon then you would have meal four at 3 p.m. That would be your last carbohydrate and fat containing meal. And then you would have 5.30 p.m. and 8 p.m. which would be protein and veggies. Now it's the same principle here. If you're doing 1,800 calories a day, the ratios will be a little bit different. As far as 135 grams of carbs per day, which is 33 grams of carbohydrate per meal. 70 uh, grams of fat per day, 17 grams per meal. 
158 grams of protein per day, which is 27 grams per meal six times. All right, now you can adjust this, but the key is, is taking your macronutrients, figure out what your basal metabolic rate is, and go into some of these online resources, which we have provided you to take advantage of that. And once again, if you have any questions about this, if you're unsure about how to do this, please contact me uh, or one of the other Fit Body coaches, and we can definitely get you squared away and show you how to do all this. Uh, but in the meantime, again, apply this. Look at this as more of your long-term eating option. You're wanting to eat every two and a half to three hours, and there's multiple food groups that you can choose from, as we discussed in the previous video. Also, there's many great recipes here in this book, also through the True Star Health Center there online. So now it's just a matter of digging in, trying to learn how to do this, figure this out. And if you have questions, again, please reach out, let us know. We'll be happy to help. All right, have a